Hello friends and welcome to another edition of Easy Maths Tutor and I'm going to teach you something known as number line. Number line is a visual representation of numbers on a straight line. Okay, so when you represent numbers on a straight line, you have a zero at the center of that line. That is the origin of the line. Okay, it's a horizontal line. And then you have the numbers on the left hand side being positive and the numbers on the right hand side being negative. So what is the use of number line? Number line will help us to add negative numbers or subtract negative numbers. Have you had an issue where you try to add up some numbers and you found that some numbers are more negative than the others and there was a confusion? So by the time I'm done teaching you online, you'll be able to add all those numbers completely. So let's start. Now this is our number line. This is our number line. It's a horizontal line and I'll call this zero. I'll call this zero. Then, let's divide the line into, say, five parts, all right? Five parts, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? So we'll call this together. Let's call count it together. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. Right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is known as the number line so the number line is very easy to use you can use it to add numbers positive numbers and negative numbers for instance let's solve our first problem let's say let's add one plus three using the number line how are we going to do that First of all, we'll jump on number one on the number line. We'll jump on that number. Let's say we'll jump here. All right? A man jumps there. So if we're adding three, we're going to count three from one, starting from one, right? So we'll have one, two, three. So we hopped onto four after counting three. Therefore, 4 plus 3 will give us 4. Alright? We started from 1. We counted 1, 2, 3 times on the number line. Alright? So let's do some other problem. Second problem. Okay? Let's assume we have minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 what will be our solution minus 3 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 remember we start from 3 okay we start from 3 we'll hop on 3 and then minus 4 when it's positive we'll go on our left hand side when it's negative we'll jump on our right hand side all right so let's start that again minus three minus four all right minus three minus four so from here minus three we have to move to our right right so we'll move how many times four times okay so we we'll say one two three four one two three four and we landed where? On minus 7. We landed on minus 
answer. So our answer is minus 7. All right? So let's try another problem. We can say minus 3 plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1. First of all, I want you to note that every single number has a sign in front of it. This number 3 has a sign in front of it, and that is negative. All right? That sign in front of number 3 is attached to that number. It's not separate from that number. All right? All right? It's like a twin. So this would be called minus 3. Well, this will go plus one. But because it's plus, it becomes imaginary. So every number that does not have minus in front of it is a positive number. So let's solve this. Minus three. Our first number on the number line will be from minus three. From, from minus three, we're gonna count plus one. That means we're gonna go to the next once, right? So from three, we'll jump once. And then we land on minus 2. We jumped what? Once. And we landed on minus 2. So that's how it goes. It's very, very easy and very straightforward. So as you may have another problem. Let's try another problem. 4. We'll say 1 minus 2. What is 1 minus 2? Now we'll jump to the number line. This is number 1. Positive one on the, on the number line. We have minus two. Remember minus you have to go on your right. Okay, so we we'll count two times on your right. So from one we'll count one two I will jump down here Right counted once and twice backwards. So that gave us what? minus one Okay, so that's how to use the number line to solve your arithmetic that has to do with positive numbers and negative numbers. So now, the number line can be used to only um, solve problems that have to do with add, adding and subtracting. But when you have to solve numbers that have to do with uh, problems that have to do with multiplication and division, you may not be able to use the number line. So, for um, multiplication problems and division problems, there's a different way to solve them when you have negative numbers or positive numbers on them. So there's a simple code that we're going to use, right, for multiplication. It's the same code that goes multiplication and division. All right, multiplication and division. The same thing can go for using your brackets also. All right, so this will be for addition. This is for addition and subtraction. This is for addition and subtraction. So multiplication and division. Assuming you have a number, we we'll say three times minus 5. What will be the answer? Now if you are solving a problem like this, you solve it as if it's a, it's a positive, okay? 3 times 5, if it's positive, will give us what? 15, all right? And then if you have 1 minus, the whole answer will become negative. Now let's try another one. 3 times 5. We know, all know that 3 times 5 will give us what? Positive 15. Alright? So let's try another one. Minus 3 times minus 5. Minus 3 times minus 5. First of all, the magnitude will be the same. That means the quantity will be the same. That's 3 times 5. We we'll multiply it as if it's a positive number. 3 times 5 gives us what? 15. Then we're going to multiply the sign separately. Minus times minus gives us what? Positive. So the answer will be in positive. So let's try the final problem, which is minus 3, minus 3 times 5. We'll multiply these two like it's a positive number, which will give us 15. 
which will give us 15. And then we we'll multiply the signs separately. Since there's one minus, the answer will be minus 15. So let's move on to this other side and do for division. Okay? For division. Let's say 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 will give us what? Will give us 5. Alright? 10 divided by 2 will give us 5. Okay? So now let's write it down. 10 divided by 2. Now, we know that it will all give us what? 5. It will all give us 5. But when the signs come in, everything changes, alright? So, if it is minus 10 divided by 2, the answer will be minus 5. If there is one minus here, the answer will be minus 5. If there is one minus here, the answer will be minus. If there are two minus, the answer will be positive. If there are three, the answer will be minus. If there are four, the answer will be positive. All right? I hope you've gotten a hang of number lines and you can use them to solve your problems. So, I, you say goodbye so problems with adding negative numbers and positive numbers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for ever returning subscribers. Thank you for always showing up. Thank you to our new subscribers. You're welcome to Easy Mass. Always you're welcome to subscribe, like and share. God bless you and have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye.